Hello my crafty friends, it's Crystal with Happy to Plan. So I am going to be doing my plan with me video for the week of August 8th through the 14th. And um, I am, so this is my planning, my planner calendar. And I'm usually really good at staying with my themes. But this week I had scheduled to do an ice cream theme. And I'm just really feeling the mermaid. So I'm actually going to do, I'm going to swap them and do my ice cream thing next week and my mermaid thing this week. So I'm going against my book. So um, let's get started. All right, first of all, I just want to apologize for this being late again. I really do try to put my plan with these up by Sunday, but the last couple weekends have just been really busy and haven't been able to do it, but better late than never. All right, so I'm going to be doing, like I said, a mermaid theme, and what I decided to do was try to make a sand doom out of washi tape, and it actually worked. So I had that washi tape as kind of like a neutral peachy color and I just took the tape. It's not really washi tape. It's more like a masking tape. Um, it's from Tim Holtz and I just ripped it and then I just kind of layered it on some paper and then realized that it wasn't big enough for what I was trying to do. So I had to just take a couple more strips and layer it up and like this, like you can see, I'm just tearing it off and, um, and just kind of layering it so trying to make it look like um, kind of like the beach so you'll see here in a second I'm gonna kind of shape it to be the right shape and then um, I'm going to get some paper that looks like water and get that cut I'm cutting it on that kind of darker line there just because it was a nice even cut line um so i took that and then i was just testing out the mermaid stickers just to make sure that they would fit and i decided i did need a little bit of a thicker line but um see here i'm trying to match it up so that it doesn't totally look off when i stick the two pages together and then i just glued it kind of lining it up a little bit and then um, I'm gonna stick it there. And then I do decide that I need a little bit more. I didn't want it to, I wanted it to go all the way up to the beach. So um, I do add another piece in the back here in a minute. So I wanted to have the mermaids fit in the water. So what I'm doing here is I'm just cutting them out so that I can kind of figure out where I wanna place them under in the, in the water part. So you can, I left them on the plastic. I just cut them out. And then when I put them on there, I just felt like it just didn't have enough water. So I am going to add some more, like I said earlier. And I didn't like that there was that line there. Um, it's not really, you can't really see it, but I, I could see it. So I put that uh, little castle there to kind of cover up this, the lines between where I connected the two pieces. And then I'm going to have that little mermaid on the side over there. And then I'm just going to put some water. All right. So now that I kind of figured all that out, it took me forever to figure that part out. So um, I'm what I've decided to do is I'm going to take some journal cards. I really wanted to bring in the green from the mermaid's hair. And I also wanted to bring in some of the purple um, it's, it's not really, it wasn't really like a true purple. It was more like a, I don't even know what color, pur purpley color. <laughs> so I am going to grab some, um, purple paper as well that has some shine to it. Um, but I did grab some journal cards that had like the exact right green. So I was really excited about that. And I kind of liked this too. I kind of felt like it kind of looked like fish scales a little bit. And, um, so I wanted to use those. So I just cut a couple boxes out of that one. And then I, um, oh, I wanted to use that Enchanted just because I thought that was kind of cute because it has Mermaid and Enchanted. 
So um, I cut it out, um, but I kept debating on whether or not to use it because I didn't really know if the colors worked, but I ultimately ended up using it. So you'll see here, I just kind of cut it so that it fits in the box, but then the enchanted is kind of a flag kind of hanging out on the on the side. So we'll see here, I'm cutting it and then I'm just gonna cut it a little bit and then I'm gonna cut out, fussy cut the flag out. And then um, I take that purple, I'm gonna get some purple paper here in a second and as soon as I get that cut out, put that there. And then that's the purple shiny paper you'll see here in a second when I flip it back over. Yeah. So I thought that worked really good with the uh, one mermaid tail. And then I just cut one more box just to add some more of that color to that side. And then what do I do now? Okay, yeah, I found that one journal card and I thought, oh, this totally looks like mermaid scales. So, um, I definitely wanted to use that so I grabbed that and I liked that it matched that purple paper and then it had the green in it too so I thought it was perfect and of course then it has a little bit of blue which is my favorite color so um, well that teal blue is my favorite color and I did I did eventually cut another box of that and I put it in the Monday day but that doesn't happen until kind of towards the end all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get everything glued down. So I went ahead and glued down the boxes that I cut out from the journal cards. I wanted those glued down first because I wanted the water to be on top, um, layered on top, so I wanted to make sure that those were glued down first. I wanted to cover that black line up there on the Tuesday day, so I just took some green sparkly washi and then to cover that up and then I use the excess to just make a little flag to accent the other little flag. So I thought that turned out cute. And then I went ahead and did the other side. Um, I went ahead and put that one down there. I was debating back and forth on whether to put it on the first line or the second line but I ultimately went with the second line. And then I took some white out right there, and then I'm also going to put some green washi across that top there to kind of, and I, I whited it out just so it would, because it is a little bit of transparent, so it worked out perfect once I whited it out and covered the whole thing. And then um, I am eventually going to put that enchanted box that I had cut out there on the Thursday day, so that line will also go away. So I was a little bit worried about the lines, but it seems like I'm being able to cover them most of the time, so that's good. And here you can see I'm just covering, I'm co getting the water laid out. Once I got the water laid down, I'm going to put down the little sand there on the side. And it wasn't quite, it didn't quite fit, so I just added a couple little more strips on the bottom there and um, just to cover it up because I made it just a little bit too short. I'm going to just trim that up and then I'm going to stick the other part of the green uh, journal card over there on the side panel to cover up the side panel and then I just get that trimmed up and then I'm going to start sticker time!
Okay, then I just trimmed up the sticker there on the side, the little clouds that I put there on the side panel. And then I'm going to go ahead and get that finally glued down. I decided that I was going to use it. And then I'm going to just put some enamel dots there on the side. I figured I'd probably have to use those green ones because I don't know if I'll ever use this green color ever again. So I thought, oh, I probably should use these uh, dot, these epoxy dots. All right, so I'm going to work on my journal card and my paper clip. Um, can't remember which one I do first. I think I do my journal card. Oh, actually, this is when I cut another piece of that. Um, I went ahead and cut another piece of that because I wanted to add it to the side. So um, I really liked that paper, so I wanted to have another piece of it. And that's that. And then I'm gonna now I'm gonna work on my journal card. So I'm gonna use that journal card again. I kind of feel like it looks like the scales of a mermaid. But the first thing I'm gonna do is work on my paper clip. Sorry, forgot which one I did first. Um, so this paper clip had a foam sticker in between. It was actually a three-layered foam sticker, and I felt like that was just too much. So what I decided to do was I peeled it off of the back of the of the base of the sticker, and I took the foam sticker off, and then I just got some stick, double-sided sticky tape, and I just stuck it on there, and then I was able to get that in here down, and it was less um, it was less puffy. And then what I ended up doing was I just fussy cut it all the way around the plastic that it came on. And I'm actually just going to leave it on the plastic as a sticker. I'm just going to leave it because I don't really want to cover up. I don't want to cover, like, put a back backing on it because I want it still to be clear. I liked that it had the clear outline. And plus a little fish is kind of cute. It kind of ended up staying on there, so I cut that. Now what I'm doing is I'm putting my paper clip on, and you can see I'm kind of adjusting it because of what I wanted to do was I wanted to make sure that when I clipped it on there, I could still see the tail the end of the tail. Um, so I just adjusted it just to make sure that it kind of worked. So again, I put it in between the top layer and the bottom layer and, and it worked really well. And I'm sorry, I'm trying to fast forward it so fast uh, because I this is such a really long video and I didn't want to make it any longer. So that's basically what I did. I just took the top layer and I stuck the paper clip on there and then I took the bottom layer and I just um, here the two together with glue, the, the glue gun. Now what I thought I would do is I found this little saying and I kind of changed it around and it just says C and I had that hidden treasures in a journal card and I thought it was really cute so I just cut that little piece out of the journal card and then I just now so the journal card reads C hidden treasures in every moment. And I just took stickers from different things that I had, some different sayings that I had, and just kind of cut them to kind of, I think it's kind of cute because it almost looks like a, a mix of all different um, fonts and stuff. I went ahead and put that little uh, seahorse on there. I really wanted to use that sticker. I thought he was really cute. And I really wanted to use that uh, octopus sticker, but... I couldn't fit it in the thing with all of the other stuff that I had, so I was really glad I was able to put it on the journal card. And what I did was I took that pink paper, that purpley shiny paper, and I stuck it on the back of it so that on the back it just has that shiny color. And I'm sorry, I guess I didn't show you what it looks like when I went through all that. So I feel like I've just made this so quick that you can't even really see what I'm doing, but hopefully you kind of understand what I'm doing. All right, so I'm showing you my um, scripture there and just putting that on that box right there. And then uh, I think that journal card turned out so cute because I love that when you're, when it's on that side, you see the octopus. And then when it's on the other side, you see the turtle. I just really like how that turned out. All right, so I'm just going to put some functional stickers down. I have a planner. I had to do my plan with me on Monday again. Sorry, it was late. Um, but me and my sister were on Google Hangouts and we were talking and I was doing my uh, planner with at that time. 
and my cat will make an appearance at the end of this video so stay tuned if you're interested in seeing a little blooper from my cat again um, so I'm just writing that I had craft time with my sister and um, just put that there on that sticker and put a little arrow and then I um, I'm going to my friend's house on Thursday we're doing some crafting and stuff on Thursday at her house and that's all I have for you today guys I'm sorry if I fast forwarded it a lot it was just a lot of footage and I wanted to make sure that I got it all so I hope you enjoy here's some photos that you can look a little bit closer Really? I, I really? Did, so I'm sorry. Sorry, we did. Hi. Did you think that you wanted? Do you want to be on YouTube again? Camera. Oh, really? Oh, you're just gonna have a seat. Yeah, that's where I want you. Um, excuse me. Hello. Yeah. Um, hi. hi. Excuse me. Kitty cat. Um, yeah. I'm talking to you. Can you go? Can you can you move? This is no. His house. <sighs> Honey, I, I was working right there. Like right there, I was working. Like you can't sit there. I'm sorry. You can have to go 